Africa, the cradle of humanity, the land of the Serengeti, the Nile and the Sahara, a continent teeming with life, history, and untapped potential. But beneath its diverse landscapes lies a mystery, a story not of its ancient past, but of its unfolding future. A new ocean is emerging in Africa, reshaping the continent and the world as we know it. This isn't a prediction from a science fiction novel or the dream of a geographer. It's happening, slowly but surely, beneath the very feet of millions of Africans. The African continent is tearing itself apart. A geological phenomenon that began millions of years ago is now accelerating. But how did we get here, and what does this mean for the future? The story begins deep beneath the surface, where the Earth's crust behaves like a living, breathing organism. At the heart of this transformation lies the East African Rift, a scar on the Earth's surface that stretches thousands of kilometers from the Red Sea in the north to Mozambique in the south. This rift isn't just a crack. It's a boundary where tectonic forces are at war, pulling and tearing at the Earth's crust. For millions of years, these tectonic plates have been moving, imperceptibly slow to human eyes, but relentless. The African plate, one of the planet's most ancient and stable tectonic plates, is splitting into two, the Somali plate and the Nubian plate. What lies in between is a rift valley, one of the most significant geological formations in the world. But the rift is more than just a valley. It's a window into Earth's violent and creative processes. Let's dive deeper into the science. Imagine the Earth's crust as a brittle shell floating atop a sea of molten rock, the mantle. This crust isn't a single piece. It's broken into plates, like the cracked shell of a hard-boiled egg. These plates move, collide, slide past each other, and, in Africa's case, pull apart. The pulling apart of the Somali and Nubian plates is due to a phenomenon called divergent plate boundary activity. As the plates move apart, magma from the mantle rises to fill the gap, creating new crust. Over millions of years, this process can form oceans. Yes, oceans. The Atlantic Ocean itself was born from a similar rift between what is now South America and Africa. That ancient rift gave rise to a massive body of water that now separates continents. And now, in the heart of East Africa, history is repeating itself. But why is this happening now? And why in Africa? Geologists have found that the East African rift is unique. Unlike most tectonic boundaries, it lies within a tectonic plate, not between them. This makes it an intraplate rift, and such rifts are rare. It's as if the African plate is collapsing under its own weight, unable to hold itself together. But there's another factor, hot spots. Beneath East Africa, there's an upwelling of hot rock from the mantle, a plume of heat and energy that acts like a blowtorch, weakening the crust from below. This is why the Rift Valley is dotted with volcanic activity. Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and Mount Niragongo all owe their existence to this geologic hotspot. Volcanoes aren't the only clue. Earthquakes, fissures, and even lakes offer evidence of the Earth's transformation. In 2005, a massive crack appeared in Ethiopia, a dramatic reminder of the rift's power. The fissure was 60 kilometers long and 8 meters wide. In geological terms, this was a sudden event, almost overnight. It was as if the Earth had yawned, revealing its fiery interior. And then there are the lakes. From Lake Victoria to Lake Tanganyika, East Africa's lakes are some of the largest and deepest in the world. These lakes aren't just random, they sit along the Rift Valley, filling depressions created by tectonic activity. But here's the most intriguing part. Scientists believe that in 5 to 10 million years, this rift will complete its transformation. 
the Somali plate will break away from the Nubian plate, creating a new landmass surrounded by water. A new ocean will flood the rift, splitting the Horn of Africa from the rest of the continent. The countries we know today, Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, will have a coastline along this newborn ocean. Think about what this means. A continent that has stood unified for over 100 million years will fracture, forever altering geography and geopolitics. The Horn of Africa will no longer be a landlocked region. Instead, it will be an island or perhaps even a new mini-continent. Trade routes, ecosystems, and human migration patterns will all change. But the emergence of a new ocean isn't just a geological event, it's a story of opportunity and risk. As the rift grows, so does the potential for geothermal energy. East Africa already harnesses this energy, with countries like Kenya leading the way. The Rift Valley is one of the most promising regions for geothermal power, offering a sustainable energy source for millions. This could transform economies, providing electricity to rural areas, and reducing reliance on fossil fuels. However, the risks are just as significant. The process of rifting is violent. Earthquakes are becoming more frequent, shaking towns and cities. Volcanic eruptions pose a constant threat to communities living near the rift. Entire regions could become uninhabitable, forcing mass migrations and creating climate refugees. And then there's the question of water. As the rift grows, it will eventually connect with the ocean, allowing seawater to flood the valley. But this isn't a simple process. Saltwater intrusion could contaminate freshwater sources disrupting agriculture and livelihoods. But perhaps the most profound impact will be on humanity's psyche. The Rift Valley is often called the cradle of humankind. It's where some of the oldest human fossils have been found, including Lucy, the 3.2 million year old Australopithecus afarensis. This land is where our ancestors took their first steps. And now, it's transforming before our eyes. The very land that nurtured humanity is preparing for a new chapter, one that will unfold long after we're gone. But what does this mean for us today? The emergence of a new ocean in Africa is a reminder of Earth's power and fragility. It's a story of destruction and creation, of endings and beginnings. It challenges us to think beyond our lifetimes, to consider the legacy we leave behind. As scientists continue to study the rift, they are also racing against time to understand the implications. Can we harness the geothermal energy without causing harm? Can we mitigate the risks of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions? Can we prepare for the social and economic changes that will come with a new ocean? The answers aren't simple, but one thing is certain. The story of Africa's new ocean is a story of resilience. The people living along the Rift Valley have faced challenges for generations, from droughts to conflicts. They've adapted, innovated, and survived. And they will continue to do so, even as the earth beneath them shifts and changes. As we stand on the precipice of this geological transformation, we are reminded of our place in the universe. We are tiny, fleeting beings on a planet that has existed for billions of years. But in our short time here, we have the power to shape the future, to protect our home, and to ensure that this new ocean becomes a symbol not of loss, but of hope. Because if there's one thing humanity has proven time and time again, it's that we are as resilient as the Earth itself. And just as the Rift Valley will give birth to a new ocean, we too can find new ways to thrive, even in the face of unimaginable change. The ocean is coming. The question is, will we be ready?